Content creation is now easier than you think. With the help of AI, you can now create any kind of video like this. Can you believe this video is totally made with an AI tool? In this video, I am going to share the method of making a full-fledged video with the help of AI. So, without further ado, let's dive in. This is Devit and you are watching AI Lockup. More Studio is a groundbreaking AI tool that lets you create complete story-based videos effortlessly. Whether you want animation, cinematic, cyberpunk, fantasy, nature, pixel, or realistic videos, this tool can do it all. And the best part? It's completely free to use, at least for now. To find More Studio, open your browser and search for More Studio on Google or any other search engine. After getting the search result, click on the first link. This is the Morph Studio homepage. First, we have to create an account to start our content creation journey. Once you log into your account, your interface will be like this. Now to create the video, click on this Create button to start using this tool. First, set a name for your project. Now choose any of the aspect ratios from this list. You will find every possible aspect ratio here. I will go with 69. After selecting the aspect ratio click on the Create button. And this is the Video Reaction page. By clicking on these three dots menu, you can give your scene or shot a name and description. Now we have to enter the text prompt on this box. Or you can upload images or audio related to your video. Before going there, let's see some other settings. On the top of the page, you will find the option to create new scenes. And this is the batch upload button. With this option, you can upload up to 10 images at a time to use on your project. We will discuss it later on. Let's start with the text to video generation first. Let's start with a basic prompt. I am typing, a Jackson chameleon walking on a green tree branch. After entering the prompt, come to the scene setting. Here first you will find the video generation model. As we are making a video from the text prompt, I am selecting text to video morph 0.1. There are some other options, we will talk about them later. Ok, next the camera setting. I am selecting zoom in. After that the duration. You can generate a maximum of 10 seconds long video. In the end, you will find motion intensity. I will go with the default setting. After all is set, hit the generate icon from here. It will take some time to generate the video. And here it is our video is ready. To be honest, the video quality is quite good. In case you don't like the video, you can regenerate it. Just customize the setting and generate a new video. And here is our second video. In this way, you can generate unlimited videos until you are satisfied with the result. Another important feature you need to know about Morph Studio. If you want to generate a video in a particular style, enter the style in the prompt. But, if you forgot about the style, you can transfer the style. With this style transformer feature. Here you will find anime, 3D animation, clay, fantasy, and many more. Once you select your desired style, Morph Studio will start creating videos in the new style immediately. And here is the result. That's really amazing. In this method, you can create videos from text prompts. To get the best result, always play around with the prompt and settings. Alright, now let's see how we can turn any image into a video. First, create a new scene by clicking this shot creator icon. Once the scene has been created, click on the attachment icon from here and then upload the image you want to use. After uploading the image, set the camera motion, video duration, and motion strength. After all is set, hit the generate button. And this is our output video. It's also an amazing video, but there is another important setting, motion brush. With this motion brush option, you can select any area and animate it. Just draw with the pen tool. If anything goes wrong, you can erase it too. Once it is completed, click on the save button and then close the tab. Set the settings value. After all is set, hit the generate button. 
And this is the newly generated video. You can see the result, how beautifully it animated the area. In this way, you can generate videos from text prompts and images. Now the question is how we can export the selected video. To export the video, you have to link video clips with this export tab. For example, I want to export this clip. Just click on this circle and then link with the export tab. And you can see that the video clip has been started to render. And our final video is ready. Now you can download the video on your device by clicking on this download icon. And if we want to download one clip from every scene, then we have to link all the scenes first. Just link the scenes you want to download and then link with the export tab. And this is our rendered video. Now you can download the videos as separate clips or as a combined full video. Alright, now I will create another project to explore another feature. After creating the project, click on this plus icon and then select the batch upload option. Here we can upload 10 images at a time. For tutorial purposes, I am uploading 5 images. Once the images are ready, click on the upload button. It may take some time. Mainly depended on image size and quantity. Once the images have been uploaded, you may notice that every image has created a new scene. Now we have to generate videos with all of these scenes. You can add additional text prompts to make the video more perfect. Set the video generation model, camera setting, duration, and motion for every scene and generate videos with them. Once the video generation is completed, customize them if needed. After that, link the scene you want to download and then link with the export tab. And this is the final video. Now download the video. Now if you want to make a full fledged video with this tool, just enter consistent text prompts or images and then generate videos with them, and finally download the video. If you want a step-by-step -step video, then let me know in the comment section. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience with creating videos with More Studio. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!